Hello guys, welcome to this video tutorial. This is Arvind from Merit Pros. Let's get started. So advanced topics, a quick look. Okay, on interest of time, just uh, we are going to see like what are these stuffs. So there are a few things like uh, Maven, like if you do till this one, if you are familiar with your settings.xml, you can go to the advanced topics of your uh, Maven. So advanced topics, sometimes like uh, it is like uh, certain jar files. We have like quite a lot of advanced topics available. I listed only a few of the stuffs because maybe uh, to be the wider set of audience, the next step towards the Maven is only this particular stuff. So sometimes there are jar files, like say independent jar files available over here. Like say in TestNG, let's go with an example. In TestNG, like let me show it to you as well. In your TestNG, let me see. Oh, okay, in your TestNG. Okay, it's not opening, I'm very sorry. So okay, let me, let's go with the Selenium. So in your Selenium, uh, this is the jar file. So if I want, to, if I keep this dependency, all the jar files will be downloaded. Assume a scenario, like say you want to exclude this particular jar file. Okay, I don't want to download this jar file. So what I can do is like, I can give something like exclusion. Okay, and I can mention the name of the particular exclusion, like say Selenium hyphen IE hyphen driver the name complete name i need to mention it up unfortunately we need to do it up i know it's hard stuff but unfortunately you need to do it up because it identifies only by the name of it 141.59.jar okay save it so obviously when it's downloading the next time or when it is installing it will be removed okay so here from the local repo it is picking you can see this one as well whatever will be revisited so it is picking from the local repo so next time when you try to do a maven install or do something like say it would not be available for you okay solution group id java salon is missing okay okay sorry i need to mention the group id okay i'm very sorry but this is an example okay this is that one topic and the property tags sometimes what happens is like you need to mention the versions okay that might be multiple uh, versions available but one version you need to maintain it consistently throughout your application so at that time you can have something called a property and you can mention the name of the property like say uh, proper oops, properties and you can mention some name over here, like say, test project, like I can give it over here, like say, let me give it control X, let me put it something like this, Selenium version, something like this. So inside the properties, what I can do is like, I can give it like say, selenium version equal to this one that's it simple as it is something like this i can maintain so that it, this would check inside of it okay so this is the one more thing that you can do about it okay so all these things i'll share it with you there are projects available so don't worry about that okay to show you an example quickly let me show it to you Please bear with me for some more five minutes. Yeah, this is the one I was talking about. Okay, properties. You can use this one as well. So this is my particular property files because I mention it as a suit.xml. So when it goes over here, it checks for this XML file and the name of the version simple as it is so this will be a kind of a reusable stuff okay so even uh, like i can mention it over here like say i can create a tag over here uh, selenium version okay put this one out okay and i can name the stuff over here similarly how i named it so if you're going to parameterize it just keep it taller okay simple as it is 
So always what happens is like this Selenium version will refer to this 3.81. If you want to change it, you can change it at one place so that it will be useful everywhere. Okay, and container de description handler. So once you build the project, this will be coming into picture. So it's a wider topic. So in the interest of time, we'll be skipping it for now. Once you're in, we can have it out. Thank you for watching this video. Hope the covered topics will help you in your career development and growth. See you in our next video.